Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for your messages. Okay, I'm going to go through the book of... I'm still going through the book of Zechariah. And chapter 4 is good too, you know. I went through 3, and we're not, I'm going to go through 4 with you. Alright? I just skimmed over it, you know. So, I'm gonna, this is kind of hard to explain, but, so, I'm gonna try to do my best. All right, so, Zechariah chapter four. And the angel that talked with me came again and waked me as a man that is waked out of his sleep and said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Now I don't know if that's the real name. That's probably... You know they got it. These a lot of these names were changed, my children. So, you know, and don't forget Satan is here. Number chapter three, Satan. So Satan is here, right? And the Lord of Hosts is here. So. Okay, where were we? Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Now, my children, does that sound like something familiar that I say? <laughs> hmm? And I say, my children, what is your most dangerous weapon? Your tongue, because our words are spirit, and they are life. And I, I don't know if I read you the tab, but in one of the tabs I said, I'll fight this whole war with my tongue and still win. And I will. Matter of fact, I already won. <laughs> War's already over. The war's already over, but, you know, there's a lot of people that have been, their names have been desecrated and reputations. What about Muammar Gaddafi? He was a great leader. You know, I don't, you know of course, most people in uh, our place of dwelling, you know, opinion has been twisted because of our wonderful media and leaders <laughs> because you know that's what they do yeah Moa Mark Gaddafi was a great leader my children he, he, he brought water to the surface for his people well, he was trying to. He built apartments, buildings for his people, houses. He he did a lot of things, and he loved his people, and his people loved him. Okay. He was in power for forty-one years, my children, 
41 years. I don't remember any presidents here that have been presidents for 41 years. Okay? 41 years he was in power, my children. From what I read, what I understand. And if you ever see any footage of him in around the people, the people loved him to death. They loved him to death. You know, obviously, you know, you know, we live here and we dress a certain way and they dress a, a, a certain way too. So, you know, we see people with stuff wrapped around their head and everything, you know, oh, oh, oh. but that's how they, you know, that's how they dress out there, my son. That's it. Doesn't mean that the guy was crazy or anything. You know, and I noticed that whenever they showed footage of him, they tried to show, like, the worst footage, you know? Like, when he looked, like, kind of rough, like, maybe, he, you know, looking a little... Rough, you know, ragged. Well, no, he was a great leader. And the reason we went over there, and, well, they, I'm not we, but the bad people went over there and slaughtered him was because he didn't want to buy oil anymore with dollars. Or sell oil? I don't know. But he didn't want to. He didn't want to deal with our dollars anymore. He uh, wanted to use gold, right? That was him. Gold. Yeah, gold. We didn't want that. And you know what's so funny is that <laughs> the people, the bad people, they don't want to accept gold. I'm feeling confused here. Wait a minute. They don't want to, um, yeah. No, he didn't want to accept, I'm sorry. He didn't want to accept dollars. He only wanted to accept gold. And he made, um, for oil, and he made um, new money with gold. And the bad people didn't like that. They didn't like that. And that's why they killed him. And that's why they killed Saddam Hussein, too. Because he didn't want to deal with dollars anymore, either. And that's why... Who are they after now? Someone else. Yeah, nobody wants the dollars, because our dollar is worthless. I told you, it has no value. The only value the dollar holds is in your mind. It has no value. It was a piece of paper. Spell. It's not backed by anything. Nothing. Nothing backs it. Yeah, man. You know, we don't know, my children. We, we don't know the truth. We don't know the truth because we just get the nonsense that the mainstream media tells us is just complete garbage. That's why I don't even watch the news. Sometimes I turn it on just to laugh at it, just to, you know, just to see the lie of the day. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell you, my son, you gotta say those prayers, man. Once you say that prayers, you go, <gasps> and you'll see. I mean, I, when I mean you're gonna see, you're gonna see. You'll turn on the news and be like, oh, this is all garbage. You won't even watch the news anymore because you'll know it's all lies. But see, the people that are infested with the virus and engulfed in the illusion watch it because they think it's real and that it's true. You know, so that's why they watch it. My children, my parents are so lost. My mother and my father, they're just... They're completely lost, my children, you know. And same with the people at the church, you know. I tried going to church for a while. I told you I was going to church. 
and I went, and I went to the Bible study and everything, and anytime I tried to explain the real teachings of the Bible to the people, you know, they said, are you talking about mythology? <laughs> you know? <laughs> what, <Well>, mythology? <laughs> yeah. There's the people are so arrogant, my children, so arrogant. I can't, I can't go anymore. You know, because they're not willing to accept anything I have to say because they just, they can't accept it. They're, it's the virus. I mean, the virus just won't let you, you know, like I said, the virus is right now. If someone watching this, the virus is in you telling you, don't listen to him, don't listen to him, don't listen to him. Yeah, that's what it's telling you. That's why a lot of people probably turn me on and watch and the virus starts talking and they just shut it off because they can't accept the information. They, the, you know, it's too disconcerting for them. I, I don't you know. And then, you know, of course, <clears throat> you know, that's, as soon as people hear the word see, they go, see, oh my God, you know, they want to run away. I mean, <laughs> when I was in Charlottesville trying to talk to the people, I, you know, the people were just, oh, he's talking about saying <laughs> And they run away. I mean, they run away. Run. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> serious. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm getting off track. I know much. I got shot in the head. You got to bear with me. You get off track. All right, so anyway. So where were we? So, yeah, not by my, nor by power. But by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Okay? That's what I say. I fight the whole war with my tongue, my child. This is the only weapon I got. That's it. I don't got no guns. I don't got no... I don't even have a knife. I don't have nothing. I mean, nothing. I got these. That's all I got. Well, I got, of course, like no magic and witchcraft and shit like that but I'm not like someone who's into rituals I, that doesn't interest me you know what I mean first of all I don't have any money to go buy incense and candles and all this crazy shit so that's you know I can't even buy this shit you know so I, the only way I can perform witchcraft and magic is by my will that's the only way I can do it because I can't afford to buy anything I mean you know so I really don't have much choice. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's either perform it by your will or don't perform it at all. <laughs> that's really all you need. And that's the ultimate goal of magic is perform by will. So I already told you that. Okay. Okay. Chapter 4, 7. Zechariah. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, grace. She didn't say grace again. It, you know, they just repeat it on purpose just, just to confuse you. You know, grace unto it. Say it again. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hand shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. See? That's another important passage right there. You know, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hand shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. Well, sounds to me they're talking about the someone who created the earth and the quantum generator, you know. So Zerubbabel is probably referring to the Nordics or the Vietnam or one of her other galactic allies, I would imagine. Man, what a glare on my freaking Glasses, I mean, that's crazy, huh? That's shit. 
and I got a towel over here. Man, I got a, you know, I need a lighting guy over here. Something, man, this is just crazy. I don't know if this is going to do it. I don't think that's going to do anything. Hey, a little bit. I need more towels over here. I can put a blanket over this shit, but then I can't see. <laughs> oh, boy. I can do. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, everybody. This pretty attractive young lady there on the page. <laughs> very attractive. And she's very nice and she says nice you know puts nice messages on there all right everybody so <clears throat> yeah okay we're talking about someone who created the earth and i don't know if you watched my other video to the illuminati but the earth is not just a piece of dirt <laughs> the earth is created created much of it's like a machine I don't know, I'm not gonna get into that big explanation but anyways have laid the foundation of this house his hand shall also finish it but it's also spirit like mother earth is spirit too don't forget my children you know it's it's like it's a big explanation I'm not, anyways so <clears throat> Yeah, so create it, and his hands shall also finish it. Thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. You know. For who hath designed the day of small things? For they shall rejoice, and shall see the plummet in the hands of Zerubbabel. With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. Then answered I and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof? And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches through which the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he said, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's go back to the beginning. <clears throat> okay, two. And said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. Okay, now, I'm going to try to explain this. Now, remember what I told you that, you know, things can have separate meanings at the same time, you know. And it can allude to the past, the present, or the future, or some at the same time. Now, that's what makes the Bible so confusing to understand. Some of it's literal, and some of it's, uh, spiritual. Okay? So let me tell you a literal meaning of this. I don't even know if I should say that, but yeah, it's the end of the world. What the hell? Okay. Now, I don't know if you people are aware of our chosen people. Okay? Our chosen people are the Yazidi people of Iraq. That's our chosen people. Now, what do they? What do these people do there? 
Well, they stay to themselves primarily. And they are despised by most of the people around there because they're all, those people are, you know, uh, it's, you know, they're not devotees of our Lord. <laughs> you know, they're without, if they, whatever they worship is not us, you know. Muslims, Shiites, or Islamic people, these kind of people. <laughs> so one of the literal meanings of this passage, and I'm really going here 21 minutes. Okay, well, this is going to be a long one, my son. You know, hope you don't got to go somewhere. So <clears throat> one of the literal meanings, they're talking about, I believe they're talking about our sand jacks. My children. What is a sand jack? Okay. The Yazidi people have sand jacks. A sand jack is one of our sacred items. And it's a candlestick thing. And it's got a bowl on top. And what they do is the holy man, priest, whatever you call them, I should read that, too. I got a lot of literature on the Yazidi people. That's a good idea. I should read that to you people. I, I was going to read that. That's another, see, I got a lot of stuff to read. I got hundreds. I got a lot of stuff to read you, my children, but sometimes I get so frustrated, and, of course, I'm, you know, things are not good for me, and get angry because, you know, these people use the shit out of me. How they just leaving me for dead. Yeah. And they left me for dead all these years. I don't know what the hell these people have been doing, but I mean, I still love them to death and everything, and I appreciate all the hard work they put in, of course. Um, you know, I hate to cry like a bitch, too, you know, because I'm not trying to, but I'm. Anyways, I've been through a lot, you know, but a lot of people have been through a lot. I'm not the only person I've been through a lot. A lot of people have been through a lot. And don't forget, my children, there's always someone worse off than you. Always. You think you got it bad? How'd you like to be stuck in a bed? Or how'd you like to be in a wheelchair? How'd you like to... No. We think we got it bad. You know, really, people are always worse off than us, you know. You know I try to remember that. You know. And even... I know I say existence sucks and all that shit, but don't forget, my children, there's souls that would give anything for any type of life. Just another chance. Don't forget that. What about those poor people stuck in Dimension 10 with those space rat termites torturing them or whatever's going on in there? And, you know, that's why I say kill every last one of them because I know that they... Tormenting souls, my children. They're tormenting souls. And now they're kidnapping your children. <laughs> if I was you, I wouldn't be sending my kids to school. <laughs> Are you crazy? I wouldn't let my kids out of my sight. Are you sending your kids to school? You're really stupid. Really stupid. It's the end of the world. What are you worried about school for? It's the end of the world. <laughs> An asteroid's coming tomorrow. Okay, it's going to come by here. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's probably going to bring some other bullshit with it. Some meteors, even if the asteroid goes by as far away, there's going to be more meteors falling. And, you know, you know, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you know, make a little experiment. You know, go outside tonight and walk down the street. I guarantee you within one hour, you will see a meteor streaking across the sky. I guarantee you. I know, because I've done it. Go out at nighttime. Well, when I have some weed, smoke a bl take a walk and smoke a blunt or something. And what I see? Meteors. <laughs> Every time. They're out there. But nobody looks up, you know. Nobody goes outside at nighttime and looks up in the sky because everyone's, oh, gotta hurry up and go here and there, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah. This is, an, uh, this, is, this is a reference to our sand jacks, my children. That's what this is. Not the whole passage, but this. 
a candlestick all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it. And that's exactly what it looks like, a candlestick with a bowl on top. You know? And I think that what they do is put oil in there and light it, you know, put the oil. So it's like a, it's not a wick, but it's, you know, a bowl. And they put some oil and they light the shit. I, I, you know, I don't know if they still do. They probably used to do that back in the old days, but now they just. Oh, so let me tell you. So the, the holy men sit there in the room and they got the sand jack and the people come in and they kiss it. And they put it, some money in the collection plate for the little, you know, for the holy men and the holy little temple place they have. Yeah. And that's what they do. Nah, uh, the sand jack got other things too. Secrets. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's more than just a candlestick, my children. Mmm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Bowl and put top of it. And his seven lamps thereon. Okay. Now they're going something else. Seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. See, I don't really understand the uh, secret of the sand jacks. You know, there's something else that goes along with it that I've seen. It was on YouTube. Because somebody stole them all, our sand jacks. You know, probably there's some imaginary ISIS gang over there. Parading around pretending to be some kind of terrorist organization. <laughs> you know what makes me laugh? <laughs> they say, yeah, this is ISIS, and they're about to cut this guy's head off. The guy is sitting there, calm as cool as a cucumber. Okay? There's nobody holding him. There's nobody standing there with a gun to his head. He's just, he's just sitting there talking. And then he talks. I mean, <laughs> my children, you telling me some guy's about to get his head chopped off, and he's just sitting there cool as a cucumber? And talking like everything's all goody goody, and <laughs> that cutting that dude's head off is just a show. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. Nobody got their heads chopped off. And then, then the terrorist is a British guy. I mean, come on, man. You telling me some terrorist in the Middle East is a British dude? <laughs> no, it's a lie. It's a show. The British people are involved because they're dirtbags. They're undercover Jews. That's all they are. All those people in England, Britain, all those dirtbag people, that they're all Jews, undercover Jews. That's all they are. That's all, that's all right. That's your enemy. They've been chasing you around trying to kill you since day one, the English people. <laughs> yeah. That's your enemy. <laughs> of course it is. I can guarantee you that the VLAN are going to reduce Buckingham Palace to just, or the Nordics, to just a pile of dust. It's all that's going to be left <laughs> with some little furry hats of the guards sticking out the side underneath a pile of rubble. What's that? Was that a dead animal there? Oh, that's one of the guards' hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, may, hey, maybe we'll go over there and walk back and forth and say, whoa, whoa, the queen is dead. Remember that? <laughs> Wizard of Oz? Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Some shit like that. That was a long time ago. He's going, whoa, whoa. We'll walk back, go back and walk back and forth. Yeah, the queen is dead, yeah. Because <laughs> she's definitely going to be dead, that's for sure. Guarantee you that. And that, that's a promise from the good hands people. <laughs> Uh, all right, so so now they're talking about the seven lamps they're on, the seven pipes and seven lamps, blah, 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 blah. Okay, a lot of these kind of references here are references to your chakras, you know, and your crown, because what's on your crown? Your crown is like a seven lamps, seven chakras, a bowl, it's your crown. <laughs> okay? That's what they're talking about. 
All right? Now, but a lot of times it does, I think it has refers to spaceships, too. I sure. Not only your chakras, but spaceships and shit, because they're talking about the person who created the Earth, you know. And who created the Earth? <laughs> Our Lord and me and the Nordics. Well, I don't, I don't know about the Nordics, but I don't know how long the Nordics been around. But the Vila have been around for a while, and I'm pretty sure the Wingmakers had a hand in it. And, I mean, there's civilizations that are just so old, my children. Even, like, even our Lord doesn't even remember them. I mean, it's so old. This is, I mean, there's... People have been here for... I mean, they made the Earth a long time ago, I think. I think it was a long time ago, my children. You know, but... Like I said, you know, we got 13 crown, 12 crown princes, so. But. And uh, don't forget, like, we've moved from planet to planet to planet because the planets wear out. So we got to go to another, another planet. I told you that. They wear out. Because of the devastation from the. And then we had to make it work right, you know what I'm saying? That's why some of the bigger plants in, planets didn't work because it didn't cause any devastation. The planet was so big that it didn't have the same effect, you know what I mean? So that's why the planets come through. It's like to clean up the mess. It's basically what it is, like a, just a cleaner upper. <laughs> you know, get rid of all the bad people and shit and <laughs> start over. <laughs> that's basically what it is, <laughs> you know? Same shit happens. I try to tell you. You guys watch, gotta watch my videos. Same shit happens time and time again. People come here and try to take over the earth. And space rats turn around and infest the place and kidnap our children and abduct people. And then people try to trade the souls for technology. All this shit happens. We've already seen it, been there, done that. I mean, this, this is nothing new. That's why I'm saying these people that are in power I think they're so smart. They're not so smart. We already knew. Plus, we're impervious to linear time. Everything you do, we already, we're one step ahead. We already knew you are going to do it. So how are you going to win? You can't win. You can't. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it makes me laugh. I mean, that people think they're so smart. You kidding me? <laughs> Crazy. You can't win. You can't be saying it's the Lord. That's not only saying. I mean, look what he's got behind him. He's got... 12 ground princes behind them that have already seen this shit happen 12 times. Don't My children, they already sat on the throne for 36 years and 100 years. They already seen all the bullshit that went on. And what happened? They did put in their time and now.